Um, have you all done any follow-up studies in Austin to see what the difference has been since your initial studies as far as after they banned it, what the effect has been? We haven't yet. Our, <clears throat> our lake sediment core from Austin was, um, was collected in 1999. It was one of the earlier lakes that we sampled out of our national studies, and that had increasing trends up to the top of the core. And the city of Austin banned seal, the coal tar seal code. I think the ban took effect in 2006. And based on our, on our looking at trends in a lot of compounds in these cores are, across the country, in particular PCBs and DDT, that tend to behave in the environment in a lot the same way as the PAHs do. Um, that's what Barbara mentioned earlier in her talk about this idea of a half-life, of it taking about 15 years for them to decrease by half after their use was, was ended. And so we have planned eventually to take another sediment core from Town Lake because the lake core is a, is a really good place to see trend because the sediments are, as you mentioned, integrated from the watershed. And they're also a lot more homogeneous, the sediment itself is, because the lake does a really nice job of sorting out the sand and the gravel and stuff and leaving you just this uniform fine-grained sediment, which makes the uh, comparison of trend much easier than for a stream. Um, we are aware of the, of the study by Bob DeMott that looked at resampled in Austin in stream bed sediments after two about years. two and a half years. And, and my reaction to that is one problem with that is it's probably both it's a noisy place to sample. Stream beds are really dynamic, and it's a pretty short time period to see the difference. So when we did the, the indoor dust study, the apartment complex study, um, we surveyed a bunch of apartments all around the city, and using a little coffee tea test that the city of Austin developed to say whether it was coal tar or asphalt-based seal coat, and the um, the rate of, of apartments we hit that were still coal tar was something like 85% of the parking lots that we tested. So it, I mean, you haven't gone out and removed the coal tar from the watershed either. So we're, we're, I just think it's probably too soon to be able to tell very much in Austin. 